Hi, Chris Matson here. Well, like the door said, the time to hesitate is through. No time to wallow in the mire. Uh, there's a lot been going on, and we know that uh, the life that we had in January and December and before that will never be the same again. Some people have a glimmer of hope that, oh, after this pandemic is over, that somehow everything will just go back to normal and, you know, it'll be like it was. I guarantee you, 100%, it will never be the same. Uh, the same group, the same elite, some people call it cabal, whatever you want to call it. These controllers, they're behind this. Uh, for 911, what they did was, you know, they did the Twin Tower thing, which, you know, if, if you don't know that that was... A, a fake thing uh, to bring the totalitarian tiptoe in. I don't know what to say to you, uh, except, uh, wow, you know. Uh, it's called the totalitarian tiptoe. What happened from that, life was never the same. Before that, I used to be able to drive across the Canada border into the States and back and forth and just basically wave at, uh, at the guard and, you know, they, you know, uh, no passports or anything. After that, it was like, you're assumed to be a terrorist, man. You know, at the airports before, I just walk on the plane, you know, sit in the boarding. Then after that, there was all these take off your shoes and everything else. It's all about uh, control. And now I can guarantee you 100% this is uh, a planned demic, a scam demic. Uh, this year is actually no bigger year for viruses or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I don't even believe in viruses, but that's another story. Uh, then, then any other year, this same group is using this. They own the media and they know herd mentality. They've, they've had this all planned out for a long time. You can research all this and find out what you want. I'm not going to be here to, you know, walk you through all that because there's something way bigger here. Where this is going is this is the next step, and this is a big one. This is like jumping off the cliff of where this is going. <clears throat> Soon they're going to say there's a vaccine, you know, and that if you get this vaccine, then everything will be fine. Uh, they're destroying the businesses on purpose. Uh, they want to destroy the economy and make you reliant on them for money. So notice the government now is, is saying, oh, you're in trouble. They'll make sure that you're just barely getting enough, right? And then they'll say, well, you know, uh, we can help you out here, but we need you to be part of the solution by taking this vaccine. Uh, that is the next step I, I pretty well I'm seeing the game plan here now right now 5g what 5g does <coughs> is uh, picture in a microwave this is just a, a real layman's way to say this you put uh, water in a microwave and it boils it right in that sense uh, kind of like that 5g messes up our molecules, the water molecules within us, and it makes it like we're suffocating because the cells aren't getting oxygen, right? That's why people in Wuhan were just dropping over and doctors are saying, hey, this does, is not like a coronavirus. This is not a normal respiratory thing. Uh, what, what we're seeing is uh, it, it's like they're starved for oxygen like a person at a high altitude or something. So now you get people, uh, and, and also with uh, aluminums and different heavy metals within the body, uh, that can trigger at any time they want with a 5G pulse uh, to uh, basically kill you or do great great damage. All of these things are, are part of this agenda. You know, and this is not just me speculating. This is, uh, you know, do the research. Now, here's the deal. Now, you may not be able to research long. And as a matter of fact, already, right now, 
YouTube, Google, and all of these things, uh, they're literally censoring and taking videos down. I don't know how long this video will even be up, you know. There might even be a knock on my door sometime, you know, for saying this stuff. But, you know, I'm a leader. I have to stand. I, I've got to stand for truth and connection with source and the visions of new earth, prosperity, and vibrant lives for all. Uh, so at this time, like what's happened, they figured this whole thing out before. You know, they own the media, they programmed it, this whole thing, you know, right down to all these deaths happening. Let me tell you, you know, <laughs> and, and I put on my Facebook, hey, this is, uh, you know, a, a pandemic. And some person comes on, oh, yeah, tell that to the people that are dying, right? The thing is, there's less deaths this year than in the previous 10 years of corona type viruses, flus and colds, you know? Uh, so it, it's, of course I don't wanna see anyone suffer. I'm a true human being. But the response is of course that, hey, you know, people do die, especially the elderly and especially, you know, ones that have other compromised immune system. It's not the, the so-called coronavirus. But anyway, so this is what's going on right now. Picture, uh, uh, there is one that, there's a whole bunch of sheep in a field. And so they know, certain people, they know how to control these sheep. And so they go, boo, 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 right? And so they have them all run. They know they're going to run, but they're running into the place where, a whole bunch of them are going to get exterminated because uh, there's too many for them to handle. They they want just so many, like on the Georgia Guidestone says, right? And check out the Bill Gates uh, Foundation and all that. So they're all running, you know? And uh, that's exactly what happened. As soon as this whole thing about, oh, you know, you got to stay inside and social distance. What a buzzword that is. You know, wear your masks, you know, all of this stuff, right? Notice everybody just obeyed. Bam. You know, they're still doing it, you know. Uh, apparently, I'm not supposed to be on this bridge right now. I'm about 20 meters off the road, you know. And I'm not, you know, it's like, what? You know, so anyway, uh, the, the thing is now, okay, so... Uh, it looks hopeless at this moment because I know the sheeple. I know they put it on the news, you know, uh, and the authorities are telling them this. You know, it's programmed, so they just run. They just, yeah, you know, they tell you uh, you can't open your business and, uh, you know, on and on. People are just obeying, right? You know? Uh, now, the reason these people are obeying, and this is where this is all going, is that because the narrative that this small elite group that own all the media, they own the education system, they own it all, including the Googles and the Facebooks and the YouTubes, right? As soon as the narrative it gets too far away from them, they censor it, they knock it down, you know? Uh, that's the way it goes. So anyway, so it's all about information. Now, I don't blame a person for cowering in their house, being a sheeple, thinking, they, well, should I wear a mask if I go outside? Because if, if I actually believed there was this virus doing all this and actually believed that I could trust mainstream media, maybe I'd do the same thing, right? But the truth is, uh, it's all fabricated for where this is going. This is where they want it to go. They want a depopulation. And just like you have in China now and in North Korea, where the people just obey and uh, they're so weakened down that if a person speaks out, 
they lose their social credits or are jailed, if not just plain <laughs> shot. Uh, that's where this is going right now. They want, they, they literally believe that they are greater in us and that they own us. We are their chattel or cattle. They literally believe that. And you know what? We haven't done much to prove them wrong, you know? Uh, but so now the only way we can get past this is if the people are informed and spread the word, just like I'm doing now. When they delete this video, when they uh, uh, do this and that, spread it. Share with your friends. Do all of these things. It's an information battle right now because this is all propaganda. There is no big virus pandemic going on, you know? And so, thank you for walking in the park, bro. Right on. Yeah, apparently there's a ban on even being in nature right now. See, this is how stupid it is. Uh, supposed virus uh, is killed immediately by, sun by sunshine and strong immune systems, which you get by hiking in nature, is what does it right uh and that's exactly what they don't want you to be doing anyway uh so it's an information battle right now and the next thing is ultimately it's a spiritual battle uh they have got all the systems in their control medical judicial police government uh big pharma all of it, education, they own it all, you know? And so the odds seem overwhelming in their favor, especially, you know, it's very disheartening for me when I see everybody just obeying, you know? Shoot, I walk in a store, man, and they're spraying everything and all freaked out if I sneeze or something, you know? Give me a break, you know? Uh, so, but here's how, the only hope we have is two things. People waking up, sharing the message like I am right now, and the information, information. Because if you are in the narrative of what the program, the programmers, the elite want you to believe, we are screwed. We are going to the totalitarian state, you know, uh, now here's the other, is that the second thing, is that this is a spiritual battle as much as it is a battle of the narrative, a, a battle of information, right? On, in the, the spiritual realm, what's going on is they're counting on people moving in fear, especially under threat, Verses in hearts filled with love. Now you have to remember there are millions and millions and millions of us as opposed to a very few that are actually pulling the strings here that own the media that are doing all this, right? And so as we collectively just say, no, you know, I, I'm not buying this anymore. Uh, and I'm not asking permission, because remember, you can't ask permission. That's like a, a slave asking permission from a tyrant, you know, can I please be free and will you please unshackle these? They're not gonna, man, you know? You can't ask the government for per permission, you know? And uh, it, it's that simple. What we have to do is collectively now picture these sheep running, right? They're running right for the slaughter. If each one of them all of a sudden was informed like, hey, those are not feeders up there. That's a slaughterhouse, you know? They would quickly turn around. You got all these hundreds of sheep and one person going blah, they would be running over that, that one person and getting the heck out of there, right? That's exactly what this is about. I know this is a little long, but it has to be because these are critical times. Uh, so 
the spiritual part is this. They have a vision of where this is going. And their vision is going without a hitch right now, right? Now, our vision has to be the opposite, which is not the new world order, but the new earth now. And this is what I mean. Move from your mind and your fear and being threatened into a heart filled with love, filled with compassion, filled with visions of what we can make in this earth and in our collective sharing of it. We know there's free energy, no problem. We know there's enough land for everybody. So everybody gets their free energy, free land, done. You know, get over the notion that you even have to work for a living. Uh, rather than that, we do projects based on love. You know, uh, there's just so many things. We can create a beautiful, magnificent, free world that's based on love. And it takes us collectively doing this now. Now, you're about to vote. If you just go, yeah, okay, yeah, I agree with that, Chris, and then stop, and then just go to the next video, you know, and maybe hit like, uh, then it's not, you're not helping. You know, you're still part of the problem here. You're still the sheep running to the slaughter. If you go, oh, this is all BS, and I don't like that, hey, you're, you are not only going to the slaughter, you're one more person that is uh, taking away our power to turn the, the herd to, right? So what I need you to do is either share this video where I'm articulating it, or in your own words, share it, you know? And for sure, keep it on top of everything. Share the real uh, narratives about things. Don't get caught up in, in the propaganda anymore. Don't even think about listening to mainstream media or radio or buy into anything they're saying. Anything that they're saying is, this is what the controllers want you to believe now. It has nothing to do with facts, you know. So, uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot. Part of me is going, there's a glimmer of hope, but a lot of me is going, these people listening to me here, they're just going to go on and get, you know, to the slaughter uh, and, and not be uh, moving in, in leadership and power. What can I do, you know? I. I can only spread the word, inform, be the vision myself, and share it. And I just pray that uh, you join me, you know, because it's going down right now.